Hey, what's up guys? Swellux back here and today I am hopefully going to be talking long enough to include me opening my box because I definitely recorded that earlier than I'm doing this now um, because I was definitely opening my client to go play some Battlegrounds with a buddy of mine. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I hope you've seen it at this point that we got 11 stars because I did end last season at top 200 which would be technically leaderboards but they haven't fucking updated that shit since fucking february which is kind of tilting but what can you do so technically we did end top 200 at, i think 196 was the rank i ended at um when i checked last night like 30 minutes before the end of the season so maybe i lost my four ranks to 200 or 201 um but i think i ended top 200 which is pretty dope it's the first time that i actually managed to end top 200 which means we get 11 star bonus which means we have two star bonus until we hit legend which is very good and makes the climb much much easier um all right but for today we are playing probably my favorite deck currently in wild which is non-reno freeze shaman um basically just jam shadow walk it's really fun uh this is the deck that i hit top 75 with well not this exact version i was actually playing a reno version at the time but this is the one I hit top 200 again with. And I think on this, on deck tracker, I currently have... Where the fuck is Shaman? Sorry if you guys hear wild. Uh, where is no Reno free Shaman? I think that's what the, the deck is Yeah, the deck is called no Reno. It's not here. Um, is it underneath the freeze Shaman? This one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. I have a lot of decks. I have to clean out my uh, deck tracker. Uh, is it this one? Nope. Any Shadow Walk Shaman? I legitimately cannot find this deck. Is there any custom Shaman by chance? No. Alright, well, whatever. We'll find it when we get into the game, but um yeah but we're like I, i'm not i'm having i'm on a pretty good uh win rate with this deck to be fair oh here it is um i'm currently 14 and 8 on i guess the the battle the on hs replay but i've probably played around 50 games with the deck if not more because i played a lot of them at school where i don't have hs replay to sadly track all that stats but um yeah this deck is like really fucking solid like i climbed from like a thousand to like top 300 in like three hours three and a half three to five hours at school so yeah anyways i feel like this intro is probably long enough to the point where my boxes are now open and you guys are able to take a short look at the deck um very very standard and uh yeah let's i guess i can talk a little bit more about it and cards that i'm not that big of a fan of uh in the first game all right guys so yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all there all right so we're queuing into what in my opinion is the worst matchup of this deck uh which is um quest mage it's so fun fact yesterday's video was not supposed to be yesterday's video um but three days before the fucking end of the season they released prince right that, that we all know the, the card that has been tearing up wild like there's no fucking tomorrow um, and I had recorded, done all the audio, recorded all the gameplay to do a meta breakdown. And then I did not have enough time in three days to gather a whole bunch more stats and play like 300 games in order to actually build a new meta breakdown. So that was supposed to go up yesterday. Uh, today, like today I'm recording this, but yesterday as this video goes up. So I'm going to try to get one out by the end of the week because I'll have enough time to play some games with Prince um so i'll be able to figure it out slightly better which i'm fairly excited for that's interesting qu in quest i don't think it's good in quest personally he was just sho shoving this in like every single deck which i think is really really wrong in my opinion this card is best in non-combo decks right um because say if you're playing mechathun like it's, it's especially true with mechathun uh i think it's the best example to show this normally in mechathun you need to draw 30 cards and kill to kill your opponent right that we can all agree with that's that's how mechathune wins um 
That's not the, I want to hit a zero power one, like ideally the zero two that gives plus attack here so I can freeze it with no consequence. So, yeah, right? You need to draw 30 cards to be able to kill your opponent. When you're playing Prince, you now need to kill... Um, you, so you now need to draw 40 cards to be able to kill your opponent, which might not seem like the biggest difference. Sure. But you're trading 10 health in order to be able to do that, which is absurd. Um, and I think it's... The 10 health that you're gaining is worth a lot less than people initially think when you're playing Mechathune decks to the point where I think it's a really fucking bad. Basically, you're saying that drawing 10 cards is going to be easier than saving 10 health in certain positions in the game, which personally, again, I think is wrong. Um, which is why if you see me playing Mechathune, I probably will not be playing it. I also won't be playing a deck like that. I think it's really fucking bad in those style of decks. Uh, okay. Uh, one second, real quick. Uh, where is settings on this thing? I've been wanting to change something, but this is the first time in forever that I actually have an opponent that has... Where the fuck do I want to put this? And how the f Can I make this smaller, please? Is there like a way to make this smaller? I don't think so. Um, well, that's what he did. I find just on this here. That's really good for me. I'm gonna take the coin while I can. Evolve this board. I have to devolve again. As much as it sucks, I have to devolve again. I I want to be able to kill both minions. Take this game. both of those defaults were actually the worst things on the planet uh i'm gonna cycle this here just think it's worth more to cycle it than the coin if i would have done it first i could have potentially pulled both uh, parrots and that would have been a really good position okay i guess this is fine for now the problem is i don't think i'm gonna be able to i wish there was a way to make this smaller if i'm being honest but i sadly can't i guess that's fine but yeah, it does. it's just because I want to be able to highlight over the things on the side here and still be able to see what the fuck's going on on the board. That's a decent draw. Okay. So advantage is that now he only has... Um, he has one parrot left in his deck. And that one parrot is within 24 other cards, ideally. I mean, maybe I draw Mutis, I eat the second parrot, and then I just win the game. But I feel like I'm in a very... Like, I'm in a bad position right now. That fire sale was phenomenal for him. Actually phenomenal. I got hugely punished by it. I was debating trading into this. I was hoping he didn't hit a 4-mana 5-5, five five, but... He did, so, I mean, fuck me, I guess. Um, yeah, my goal here is to try and find a way to gain enough health so I don't die to whatever shenanigans he's doing. It's easier said than done, but I'm still gonna, I need to attempt it at least. That's a really good draw, but I, that's a really good draw. The problem is I just don't have I can't kill a parrot if I pull one, so it's going to be better saved later on. Uh, I'm going to summon some two threes. I'm going to deal six to him. I could have saved my one three by killing it that way, which would have might have been better. But right now, what I'm hoping for is like a toxin would be a great. Oh, actually, ice fishing is like arguably the best top deck in my deck because I can do this into ice fishing. Um like and kill off whatever i pull which is really fucking good because i can if i pull second parrot i win the game right I'm just that's just a fact um also it allows me to go mutinous which is even better and yeah okay. oh that's a really good draw 
I think I'm gonna mute this first. Mm. Yeah, I like going mute this here. We're gonna parrot. Come on, one time. Okay, I'll take a bran. Eating bran is also fairly good. It's not as good as eating the other one, but I'll take it. Next turn, I can go rat into kill whatever I rat into grumble. Which is pretty nice. Which is still pretty far from completing it. Yeah, the play next turn is just rat here and just hope is good enough to win the game. Hopefully didn't get like Shatter, I believe is the name of the card that kills a frozen minion. That'd be really bad for me. Uh, how many zero cost spells did he fucking hit, man? I was hoping he couldn't take an extra turn here, but if he had a one mana spell, he can just take an extra turn here or a three mana fire spell. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that one. Maybe I can lock him out of the game with Lothabs here. I mean, I can't do it this turn, but maybe. He's definitely protecting and something in his hand that's really good. I want to just slam this, but it's it's super greedy to just slam it. Hmm. I have to kill that. I have to play this relatively safe. Yeah. Next turn is Shadow Walk. Unless I draw exactly Lotheb or my Dirty Rat and Firemancer Flurg and Toxin survives, it's just Shadow Walk and I just try to pull as many things out of his hand as possible. If I even get a next turn. I don't even know if I get another turn, if I'm being honest. Because... This was such a good top deck for him. Like, I know I ate one, but drawing the other one was so fucking good. Maybe Shadowhawk was better. I would have pulled two things. I'm fucked now if he has, like, most spells in his deck. Unless he doesn't have another spell to get with this guy, because he needs to play two more spells to make him active. Right, he just played Time Warp. Uh. What does this do? It summons a copy of himself. It eats something. It counters something. Adds one of those to my hand. Draws me. A snowfall. And ideally, I guess, Healing Rain. I needed like two more turns if I'm being honest. If I had two more turns, I could have definitely won this game. With the amount of turns I have here, it's like really, really hard to. All right. Well, ready to Jeebus. That's terrible eats. Oh, fuck, I could have traded in here. Uh, I fucked up. Yeah, I should have traded in here. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Trading in here was so important. I can't believe I fucked that up. I played this way too fast. I saw that guy. I forgot that I, I played the poisonous guy. This is good, though, because this doesn't have... Um, what's it called on it anymore? This has coin. Potion, which is really fucking bad if I'm being honest. Coin, so it's coin, potion, coin. Lothar would be a beautiful draw here. It's also a very interesting draw. Hmm. 
Hmm. This hand is mostly minions. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. This draw is phenomenal. Should I try this in? Oh, the fact that she I can deal two damage this whole board. Forgot that was a thing. Trying to nuke his hand here as best I possibly can. I was gonna go like, okay, I can freeze his board. Like that's what I was thinking of, but it sadly did not go how I wanted to go. I don't think I can burn Shutterwalk here, which is what's nice. Uh... Hopefully he kills this somehow. I don't think he's able to, but hopefully. Oh, he also has no more potions. And only can only take one additional turn, so I think he just loses the game. Yeah, he has no more potions. I don't think, at least. And even if he has one more potion, one more potion is not good enough to win. Oh my god. Winning this matchup is always so fucking stressful when you don't have Lothab and you can't just eat both of his parrots. The fact we were able to get one was really fucking good, but man, this is a, this is just a rough matchup if I'm being honest. It's super fucking rough. Um, all right. Uh, I guess we just queue up the next one. Yeah, we still have plenty of that. Let's let's do it. Okay. Um, Hunter, I'm keeping Healing Rain, I'm keeping Brukan. Uh, I can mold both of these, I think. Alright. Um, also, by the way, sorry guys if I don't talk as much when I'm playing this deck in particular. Um... I, this is this is the single deck I think right now in Wild that I have like or this style of deck you know like the free shaman archetype. Um, it's probably the one that I have the most amount of practice on and the most amount of games played. I mean fuck, I was at like three hundred wins on shaman before I started playing this at like school, and I'm at like seven hundred something now. So, you know, but it's just. Well, there's a lot of people that will tell you like, oh, this deck is brain dead. This deck is super easy. Blah 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 blah. Where I mean. I don't want to say they're wrong, but it's definitely not the hardest deck I've ever played in Wild. I'd argue that Quest Mage is harder. I'd argue that there's a lot of decks that could definitely be considered harder decks, quote unquote. But like, the problem is this deck has like, Quest Mage is like, say like a steady level of hard. Like no matter what matchup you're in, it's like a certain degree of hard. This, this deck is, what the fuck is going on? Okay, well, whatever. This deck is like a constant level of difficulty. Where it's... Sorry. Um, where it's not easy. It's not... Like, there's some matchups that are really fucking easy, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, uh, like the Druid matchups, I'd say I probably have like a 90 some odd percent win rate in those matchups. Like, I think I've lost like four or five of them. They're, they're hard matchups to lose, but... I, you see about the complete quest on this turn? Just... Okay, no, I was about to say this. He just have zero respect for fucking uh rat. I mean he should it he should because I don't have it currently in hand, but hey. Toxin is a very bad draw. Or I guess it, I shouldn't say a bad draw, it's just not an ideal draw. We're dying though. Um, but yeah, like this deck has just much harder matchups and much easier matchups. Druid is really easy as I was saying. 
quest mage pillager rogue those decks are really fucking hard where quest mage just kind of has like a lot of like medium difficulty matchups and then a lot of easy matchups in my opinion from the from the games i've played with the deck that is what i've come to find as true mm. or again i could definitely be wrong on that statement but it's definitely what I found to be the case. Some hard, some easy, but that's like, in my opinion, the same thing for like basically every deck. Uh, this is, this is so bad. I'm in such an awful position. No Lotheb. If I would've hit Lotheb here, I was in an okay position, because he couldn't play Tavish this turn. And then I could have grumbled, played it again. He can play it next turn. And then I was able to potentially do some other shenanigans with other like really broken cards, but Sadly, I got cocked by, a, I would say, a weak draw overall. I'm gonna do this, this, and then freeze this thing. Him hitting an O2 here is so good for me. Actually, phenomenally good for me. I'm gonna try and play as many of these guys as humanly possible this game. Like, I'm tempted to actually Zola it. Like, that's how important I think that card is. Um, I mean, if I'm not just dead here. But yeah, if I can gain, like, plus 10 health with it, or plus 20, 30 health with it, I should be fine. Quest Hunter is so fucking dumb. I can't believe this deck. This is the only deck that I felt like was super broken with the release of United and Stormwind that has not gotten nerfed. Like, I don't understand why this deck never got changed. It would have been one of the first decks I would have changed, personally. Hmm, I have two... I can do, like, this... This... I don't really like that. I much prefer... This is gonna go exactly against what I want to do, though. I guess I can do it this way. Oh, uh, fuck, I played the wrong order. Whoops. I meant to attack first and then play this. Because this way, my rat would no longer be damaged. Plus two? Fuck. I was really hoping this was plus health. I don't quite understand why this is still frozen. It shouldn't be frozen anymore, but... Oh, because it became a copy of the frozen one. That's why. That's why it took the damage. Uh, I'm going to do this, this, which could do both Brucons. Where has that has like pretty good potential at... Please don't be draw. I mean, if I just hit plus six health, plus six health, I have a pretty solid chance at winning, I'd say. You know, just gain 12 health here. Shutter Walk would also be an interesting draw. It would probably change around my play a little bit. Oh, that's a phenomenal draw as well. Let's do this first and see what it gives. Deal two. That's not at all what I wanted. Well, we just have to pray for no card draw. He's played double tracking, he's played one flare, and he's played one ferocious howl. So have to go for counter the spell. Alright, Shutter Walk waiting room and plus six health waiting room. I need him to kill off my minions, which he won't do, but it's what I really, really need for him to do. Oh, Oh, that's so good. If I'm not just dead here. Oh, I'm just dead here. It didn't matter. Quest Hunter is Quest Hunter, and there is quite literally zero miss... I, I could not... I didn't misplay. I low rolled on getting plus six health. If I would have got plus six health here, I think I could have won, but... Nope, Quest Hunter is just the single deck that I think still needs the biggest nerf. The deck is not popular. The problem is the quest line is still just broken. If the warrior one got nerfed, to the degree it did, where it's now 9, this should also be 9. 
And I don't care if there's a whole bunch of people that complain about, oh, well, no, it shouldn't be nine because then the deck's unplayable. No, no. the deck should be unplayable. The deck is the least fun deck to play against in the game. I would rather play against Mine Rogue. I'd rather play against Pirate Rogue. I would rather play against Quest Mage over playing against that deck. I would rather play against fucking King's Main Rogue and people should know at this point how much I hate that deck. Like, I don't talk that much about Quest Hunter and I say a lot of decks are my other, like, least favorite decks, but Quest Hunter just... It's dumb. There, there is the only deck that actually has zero counterplay in my opinion. Quest Mage, you can pull the things, you can... You can pull like the parrots, you can pull you know, a whole bunch of other shit. You can play Lothabs to block them out. Sure, you can play Lothabs to block out Quest Hunter until like you miss on one turn and it's just like, I'll play my one damage burn spell, I'll play my quest reward and now you just lose. It's, it's dumb how insane that deck is and how little it's been, and like how it has just never been changed. Also that game, if I would've fit Lothab at any point, I won that game. Just, just wanna point that fact out. Anyways, though, we have time for one more game, so let's let's queue it up and hopefully not hit another Quest Hunter, because I still think that might be my lowest win rate deck. Yeah, I think it's the deck I had the lowest win rate against. Anyways, let's uh, let's play the next one. Alright. Oh, this is another... If this is the deck I think it is, it's another really hard matchup. This is another deck that I really want to play to the channel, if it's what I'm... It could be what I'm thinking, it could also not be what I'm thinking. Um, If it's the deck I'm thinking of, it's the Rinathal uh giant deck where you basically play like um i know the deck i don't think the deck plays dark lair slash i've never had anyone play the dark lair against me sorry that was me flicking the side of my mouse um okay so it could still be renathal i'm pretty sure it's renathal uh giants that deck is just really really hard to beat like absurdly hard to beat i need to win the 66 percent chance uh because it's slightly lower than the 66 percent chance how many spells are in my deck one, two, three, four, five. That's a five on 60. Or it's a four on five and then a two on three. Well, I'd say it's roughly like a 60% chance. Bring those both up to 30. I'm trying to do the math in my head and it's not working. Right, I guess I can do this. Here. No, I need to do this here. I need to find... Okay, beautiful. I hit it. But yeah, what was that? 12, 115 plus. Or is it? I don't know how to do stats. It's I'm, it's fucked. I'm in a stats class and I don't know how to do stats. That's hurt my head. Uh, I should have played arguably this encounter dominion. But now I have these guys to save me ideally. Yeah, but yeah, no, it was, it was it was some. I had very very high odds of actually hitting it, but yeah, this card is insane in this matchup. Um, other cards I'm looking for is gonna be one ma brilliant macaw, just because brilliant macaw. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Mutants is huge. Not Eden Priest. Lothab doesn't do much in this matchup, but I it's still one of those cards I would rather play. Than not play. Uh, he's Reno, is my guess. That's so unfortunate for me. Ice fishing? Ice fishing would have been a really good draw there because I would have got all my shit back. Don't kill my guy, please. That would be very rude of you. He's not Reno, which is very important to make the distinction. Hmm. I want to draw another card here. Rat is not an ideal draw. The problem is I just can't get to this thing. Like, it's actually so hard for me to get to it. It's insane. So it's like just almost impossible for me to get back my minions. That's, it's like arguably one of the single worst draws in my deck. 
I guess I'm just gonna deal two and summon some dudes. Deal two. Summon some two threes. This puts him in an awkward position, which is what I like. Like, he wants to kill both of these and then trade this into here. But to do that, he loses Gigafin, which means I get back more taunt minions. So it kind of puts him in a little bit of an awkward position. That was a really bad pull. It's an awful pull. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, you see how, like, he's in a super awkward position here, which is really, really good for me. And if he doesn't trade, I press hero power and I get my shit back as well, which is really nice. I like getting my things back. Oh, that was a phenomenal draw for him to get. Hitting the fucking broomstick was so good for him. That's so annoying. Because now he can get rid of that. Yep. His draw this game was absolutely disgustingly good. What was the last battle cry I played? Brucon? I guess that's fine. My whole hand is trash. I'm just dead, right? 16. Oh, this is the only way I can potentially survive. Okay, that's not even the card I need to pull to survive. Fuck me. Uh, the reason I said this was the only play I could have done that survived was I could potentially have eaten uh, the Wind Fury guy. Where. Okay, it doesn't matter if he top decks it. I mean. Yeah, no, the this game just. The last two games just, yeah, nothing went according to plan. He had the answer with three pieces of removal to kill my Snowfall Guardian the turn he did. He had the, the Murloc, the Gigafin on curve. He had, like his draw there was phenomenal. If I would have, if he didn't have that piece of removal, I was in phenomenal positions. I could have froze the board again. That if he still didn't have the removal, I could have bounced everything back and I had two more freezes. Uh, in which case, I think I just would have won the game, but uh, it was it was such an awkward position. I still think this deck is the best deck in the game, by the way. I'm I'm a firm believer. Also, you notice I have packs. This is this is thanks uh, thanks to my brother who randomly bought them for me, and I don't know why, but he just did. He gifted to me on battle. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, so yeah. Thank you, if you ever see this. Anyways, um, yeah. With all that being said, this deck was a lot of fucking fun. This deck was really fucking good. Oh, I still think this deck is really fucking good. I will stand by that. Um, there are a few things that I kind of still want to change. I kind of want to cut Sleepbreaker. I don't like this card whatsoever. I think the... Problem is I don't want to play the elemental because that fucks with her, right? It fucks with Tarnold Engineer. And I don't want to put the Murloc because it fucks with ice fishing. So it's like, but if I go freeze, I guess I'm cutting an elemental for an elemental, right? You have Burlock that you can play and you have Glacial Shard that you can play. I'm sure you can play this, but that's really fucking bad in comparison to this. I think this might be worth it, but like the problem is like, Losing the card draw is really bad, but I don't like adding cards to my hand with Shadowwalk because it has cucked me more times than I care to admit. So that's like something that's like really close on the chopping block. Other things, it's like Lightning Storm because aggro decks are becoming less and less popular, which is still really good with the because right everyone wants to play Renathal. Uh so aggro decks are becoming super less popular because it's also like hard fucks, like Renathal hard fucks aggro decks, giving them an extra ten damage that they get through. And on top of that, most of the decks are Reno, in which case they have a shitload of life gain, and then it's it's really fucking hard for them. So it's it's like on also the short list of getting cut. One Rustfoot Viper also might get cut for something else with cycling. Uh, or sorry, tradable. Tradable. Did I misspell it. Oh, there's an E. I hate E's, man. What is it? Overdraft. Are there any other ones that are worth actually playing? I guess this one's okay. 
Like, this one could be pretty solid, but it silences a minion is the problem, so that means Shadowak can silence himself, and that's not something you want. But, uh, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, also you can silence something you froze and you can die, which, so I guess not. Mm hmm. I mean, this one could be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm still trying to make slight modifications. I don't think this is a perfect list yet. Um, but yeah, anyways, overall, I would definitely recommend this deck. I think this deck can very easily hit Legend, just saying. If, if people want to do a climb to Legend, this deck can do it. I still think all the decks on the list that I said were going to be the best to climb to Legend could do it. But I think the list changes slightly. I think I, I, I might mention all the decks that I had on this list uh, in the, the other video that's coming out eventually, but yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm going to I'm gonna end this off here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't feel like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.